Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. And today we're going to take a look at Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen. Now before we get right into the review or unboxing, let me discuss something. So, Lightning McQueen took on this paint job when he went to the Rusty's Racing Center and Fireball Beach and Thunder Hollow Speedway and Thomasville. So, during his variants diecast releases, he was released, he was first released in a multi pack with Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Jackson Storm, Cal Weathers, Bobby Swift, Brick Yardley, Todd Marcus, Red Meeker, Rev and Go Racer, or should I say Joshua Josh Leverson, Chickix with Headset, and finally, Tex Dynaco. And 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 he was then and it was then released again, but this time as a single, and only exclusive to Target. But but since then it kicked off and got released as a single well, multiple times. And this and he got and this time this year, the year 2022. This version got released again as a single. So I purchased this variant along with other cars that I got from Walmart, along with Kurt with Bug Teeth, Liability, and Holiday Hotshot, Lightning McQueen. And yesterday, I, what I got in the mail is the Easter Buggy. So. I'm, I'm, I'm plan I was expecting Lightning McQueen as the Easter Buggy, Gee, along with this, you know, on, at Easter time. But then this came yes in the mail yesterday, but not Lightning McQueen with Easter Buggy. So if I get it, if I get the Easter Lightning McQueen as the Easter Buggy, I get it. If I don't, then I don't. So, and. But the Easter buggy will have to be a review for another day, especially Easter. So now, well, let's take a look at the packaging. Here we've got his artwork and the the old car, the old the classic Cars logo and the, the red background and Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen, Rayo McQueen, all in Spanish, and the metal logo and the Mattel logo. And on the back, we've got the Cars 3 logo. And on the back, we've got Rusty's Cruiser Mirrors, Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, that's him, Liability, APB, and Kurt with the Bug Teeth, the Metal logo, and the Mattel logo, and the Arsa Network. And on the back, in 2021 Mattel. And now let's get, get him unboxed. All right, so during his appearance in Cars 3, Lightning took on, on this paint job to, to, to get be trained at the training center. When, when Sterling entered the training center, he introduced him to Cruz, his new trainer, Cruz Ramirez. And and Cruz and together at the training center you know, Cruz taught her how to reach for his lightning's lunch and how to visualize speeding Jackson's storm but the treadmill was energy was the energy on the treadmill was reduced to conserve it which made lightning a bit slow Oh, and Lightning was so oh wanted to try the simulator so bad, and then and then and another scene 
lightning was hanging on hanging downward downsided it, it, with a drip pan right underneath him you know, to, in order for him to visualize going downhill when he's going fast. Then later on, during after the training, Lightning met Cruz in a Japanese room where his tires were removed and Cruz told him how to, how to name their tires but Lightning still want to go on the simulator. Then he got his chance by entering it. However, he wasn't very good at the simulator as it was hard for him to handle, resulting in having an accident. Then, then later, in Ster when, Ster when Lightning met Sterling in his office, Sterling showed him a lot of products containing him and saying that they will be rich beyond on their dreams, which meant that his racing days are coming to an end, which shocked McQueen. Then Lightning struck a deal and said, said that if he loses, he'll sell all the mud flaps, and if he wins, he decides when he's done. So, the, so Sterling accepted the deal. Then at Fireball, then later on at Fireball, the next day at Fireball Beach, Lightning and Cruz started training on Fireball Beach, but Cruz ended up being spun out and, and getting sidetracked, which resulted in Lightning being out of range numerous of times. Then, then they saw an old, then they saw a sign that says Thunder Hollow, and Mac suggests, Mac states that he's a master of disguise. So they went to Thunder Hollow Speedway, and Lightning got covered himself in mud as an out-of-towner named Chester Whipplefilter. And before the Crazy Eight race, Cruz was dressed up as a racer known as Francis Beltline. And they tried, I, and during the Crazy Eight Demolition Derby, he, they, they were able to dodge many numerous of Crazy Eight racers, including Miss Fritter, who I unfortunately don't have. And after the race, and Cruz, or should I say, Francis had won, un, 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 Lightning's identity was revealed. Then back at Mac's trailer. Uh, uh, Lightning and Cruz had gotten into an argument, and, and which Lightning got mad at Cruz for for messing him up, and not and he's not getting anywhere faster than Storm. Um, with, and res, and he broke Cruz's new Crazy Eight trophy, and then Cruz revealed herself that she wanted to become a racer because of him. So and after that, Cruz had left. Then, then later that night, Lightning was watching TV inside Mac's trailer, which he showed, which broadcasted the Arson Network featuring Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks, and which showed Storm's chances of winning 95.2%, while his chances, speed chances, 1.2%. Worried, Lightning decided to call Hang on. Sorry. Then later that day, then later on, he decided to call Mater for some advice. And then, and then, Lightning remembered Doc Hudson's old mentor, Smokey, which, who is in Thomasville. So, they, so he met up with Cruz, who was heading back to the training center, and then, and then, Lightning convinced Cruz to get on the ramp, which, by the way, it worked. And so they went to Thomasville, and they found Smokey, who introduced him to a trio of racing les legends, Junior Moon, Louise Nash, and River Scott, who I unfortunately don't have, have, yeah. and the glory days of Doc, a.k.a. the fabulous Hudson Hornet.
But later that night, Smokey took him to took Lightning to his garage, where he'd been re receiving many letters here's from Doc. Then, 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 and, at, and during the same week, they, Lightning Smokey, along with Cruz, Luigi, Guido, Jr., Louise, and River, who I still don't have, have began training, tractors, window sneaking with tractors, and obstacle avoiding, I mean, three lap races, and so on and so forth. And during the midnight run, Lightning, 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 Lightning lost this decal to his, went back to his regular racing decals, which he got his mojo back. And that is it. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his smug, smirking facial expression, his ransom dark red paint and the headlights and on the hood we've got the gold rust modern rusty's logo and the and on the left side we've got the red rims on the black wall light your tires and the exhaust pipes and the red 95 on the gold metallic retro lightning bolt and the rusty's logo and the gas cap and Ru modern rusty's logo on the spoiler and the 95 on the top his name's signature not shown and on the back, we've got the gold Modern Rusty's logo and the 95 on the back bumper. Similar design, but completely different. And underneath, it says Disney Pixar made in Thailand, 2021 Mattel. And that is it. Now, let's pull up some of the other McQueens. We've got regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. Rusty's Lightning McQueen. And... Cars, regular Cars 3, Lightning McQueen. And some of the other Rusty's Racing Center team members, we've got Cruz Ramirez, Sterling, and Sterling. And that's all I, it for all I can say. So what do you guys think? Which version of Lightning McQueen is your favorite? And which single should I review next? Should it be Kurt with the bug teeth, liability, holiday hotshot Lightning McQueen, which I'm not sure if I should open it up in December, or the Easter buggy, who I who I'm reserving for Sunday the 17th. Leave your let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, please consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel. I would really appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!